Good morning my darlings. So today is quite an impromptu day. I've just driven to Bicester Village and it was the loveliest drive, a very scenic route. We came through Ainho, we came through so many, I say we, I'm by myself, <laughs> the royal we, um, came through some beautiful Cotswold villages and it was about half an hour, maybe a little bit longer, should have been quicker because I got lost right at the end. I'd put in Bicester train station into my Google um, and yeah, I've just basically wasted the last 15 minutes. But I'm actually here because Hayley, who has been helping us with some interior bits and bobs, has some lamps and she is coming to Bicester for the day. So she's gonna give me the lamps. So I'm meeting her in the car park any minute. And then I thought I'd have a little toodle around. Um, I'm using the valet parking because, well, firstly, because that's what Hayley was using, so easier to meet her, but it's so convenient. I did this last time and um, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it's not gonna be that busy because lack of tourists maybe, um, but it already seems quite buzzing and it's only been open for an hour and a bit. Got my mask, I've got some water with me. Let's pop that in my bag. Um, I'm wearing a very cute little outfit, so I'll show you that in a second. But I'm just going to head inside, give them my car keys. Oh no, I better not actually. I need to wait for Hayley before I give in my car keys. Yeah, I'm going to head inside. Um, and then let's go shopping. Okay, just got to Vista. Nobody around me. So I'm going to take my mask off. Most people are wearing masks, which is good. Um, it's quite quiet, it's quite calm, which is lovely. Hopefully there won't be too many queues for some of my favourite stores. Uh, just had a nice coffee in the apartment, which is like little, um, a little area near the valet parking. So I was just thinking what my plan is for the day. It is Charlie's 30th on Sunday. I have got his main present, but there are a couple of other little bits and bobs that I might try and look out for. Apparently there's a store here which has got some gardening bits and some knives. So I think that'd be lovely. And then of course I'm gonna have a look in some of my favorites like Chloe, the Weve, um, and there's a new store called Barefoot Chic, which apparently has lots of nice little bits and bobs. For holidays, that sounds right up my street. Um, but anyway, let's have a little mooch around. Everything is an additional 30% off in here. I rather love this. I think you can open up the sides as well. Beautiful floral tote bag. Very handy size. It's got the Sport Birch logo. So people often ask me if Vista is worth it. And I always say that one of the best stores here is Sweaty Betty, because it's pretty much new season stuff at a fraction of the price. So I'm definitely gonna beeline in there. Look at this lovely little seating area. They just make it so beautiful here. a Loewe basket bag on their wish list but they were a little bit out of their budget this is absolutely the place to come so I don't know if you just saw I showed you the bigger version of this it was 795 and in here it's like 260 pounds I'm not gonna lie I'm really tempted to get the big one I just think they're so helpful for like shopping and going to the beach and things like that I think if it's still there on my way back then I'm very very tempted so so good Still expensive for a basket bag, but a great prize for a Loewe one. Oh my goodness.
I'm in Kate Spade. In some of the shops you're allowed to try on and some of them you're not. But I spotted this beautiful dress. It's 60% off the RRP. I think it was 350. Now 160. And it's just my dream silhouette. Beautiful um, shape on the bodice. Such a fun fabric. A little bow to cinch you in at the waist. And then beautiful pleated skirt. I think this is going to be my first purchase of the day. <gasps> Pockets. <laughs> This is new, a little Amora Vixa station. I did buy the Kate Spade dress. Couldn't resist. So I just managed to get Charlie's first birthday present. Um, Ugg, a pair of new pair of slippers. Um, funny because some people are social distancing and very conscious of it some people are not and some people are not wearing a mask so it's a little bit strange um, but I'm just trying to be as safe as possible now heading to the farm shop for a nice spot of luncheon So I've just sat down for lunch, for one. I don't really mind eating by myself, I find it quite peaceful. Um, at Farm Shop, which is part of the Soho House group. I know I have a bit of an obsession, but you know what you're gonna get here. Always really good quality, yummy food, and you have to um, scan the QR code to get the menu, so it's all contactless, but they have croquetas on the menu, which is my favorite thing that they do. Um, so we ordered that, a salad, and some chips because why not successful shopping so far but i'm just gonna sit here in the sun um enjoy my lunch and answer a few emails because it is a work day albeit a rather lovely one this looks delicious i'm gonna start with the croquetas mm -mm -mm. Day. Could not resist the Luele basket bag. <laughs> Just got back in the car. Wow, that was oh, I've kinked my hair. That was a very successful shopping trip. I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes to let the fresh air into the car because it is hot. This car is roasting. This was the typical me going shopping. I fully intended to to not buy anything today obviously looking out for a few things for Charlie but I was not planning on buying anything um, but I bought quite a lot <laughs> they had such good things in and prices that I just could not resist like some absolutely gorgeous things that I probably would have paid full price for but I'm really chuffed with all of my purchases I will show you when we get home um, they were really safe when it comes to covid i would say aside from they could have been a little bit more forceful with getting people to wear masks um i didn't take mine off the whole time aside from eating and that one time in the changing room uh, but there are quite a few people wandering around without masks on and some people not really caring too much about social distancing but most people were being good um and they had a maximum number of people allowed in each shop at one time. I would say if you're planning on coming, come early, like get here for like half nine because before I went into lunch, I felt like I pretty much had the place to myself and it was really lovely. I didn't have to queue for any stores, but now just walking back from farm shop, is that what it's called? Farm shop, farmyard? Uh, back to the car via Loewe and La Cruze, um, it was quite a lot busier and I actually took the like outside route to avoid the crowds. But anyway, I'm gonna make my way back home. It'll be gorgeously sunny by the time I get back into the garden. So I might just lay outside for a little bit and then show you my bits and bobs, my Bista Village haul a little bit later. Hello again, darlings. So I'm back home again now. I've got changed into 
another little H&M dress because it's really toasty outside and I wanted to get a little bit of sun on my shoulders. So, um, <laughs> since I shared a few Instagram stories of my shopping trip, I had quite a lot of questions um, what I bought and a lot of requests for a haul. So I'm not going to do a separate haul video, I just thought I would show you what I bought now. <laughs> that seems to make the most sense. All of this was bought with my own money, no discount, no voucher, just like a normal shopper. I did have a few questions if I bought this stuff with a voucher on my Instagram stories. No, this is all just like a totally normal um, haul. So let's get started with um, Kate Spade. So you will have seen me trying this dress on. I love the bag as well. The carrier bag is really, really cute. Uh, you will have seen me trying this on. Kate Spade had loads of gorgeous things in there, loads of beautiful accessories, but I was really drawn to this dress. And how funny is this? A couple of you have actually messaged me on Instagram saying that you have this dress. Someone actually said, I bought it because I thought it was a real Josie dress. So it's surreal seeing me now buying it, which I thought was so funny. Um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Such fun colours and such flattering colours. I think this would be so, so flattering on all different skin colours. Loads of different people would suit this. Um, and the silhouette is just my absolute dream silhouette. I love a little v-neck, fairly fitted corset bodice, um, and then a pleated skirt. As you saw from the try-on, it's got pockets as well. And I think I'm going to wear this this weekend for Charlie's 30th birthday celebrations. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to pop that straight on my rail. Um, Price-wise, so this was £350. 60% um, discount. So I paid £139 for that, which I'm very happy indeed with. Then I went into UGG, so my plan was to buy myself a new pair of slippers because the UGG slippers that I'm wearing um, every day are still fine, but they're just looking a little bit tired. Um, I have started to wear them outside a little bit, which is a bit naughty. I actually saw these on the shelf and tried them on in my usual size plus one. So I usually would wear a size three. Like, got these in a size four and they're a very light blush pink um they've got like the ugg kind of suede detail crisscross effect and just really lovely and soft so yeah sized up with those i mean the base of these the sole is the same as the sole of ugg boots so technically like they're fine to be worn outside but if you are gonna then be putting your feet up on the sofa or on the footstool then i should probably try not to, but yeah, these are my new slippers and I love them. Uh, the style is called the Abella, the Abella. Interestingly, they were 70 pounds full price and I paid 46 pounds for those. So what's that, 40% discount? may have dreamt it but I'm sure Charlie hinted not too long ago that he needed a new pair of slippers so I spotted these and I thought they were right up his street just very masculine um, they've got like a deep very dark brown leather and then a stitch detail in the middle here um, you've got dark brown leather contrast trim and then a really dark brown um, wool Soul, so I think he will like those for his birthday. were 47 pounds something 
something else that I got for Charlie's birthday. Um, he's downstairs watching Man United, so there's no chance of him hearing my little birthday haul. So as we know from vlogs, Charlie loves cooking. He loves his knives. So I went into a shop called Zwilling, and this is a twin sharp knife sharpener. Um, the guy behind the counter gave me a little demonstration and told me that it was a really, really good one. It's good for weekly maintenance of your knives and also for um, like your proper sharpening. So yes, I don't know how much more I can say about that, but that's what it is. Um, Usually retails for £41.95, I got it for £27.95, so a good £14 saving, which is not to be sniffed at. Hmm. Next is Le Creuset, and I always have to go in there, they have the loveliest stoneware, their casserole dishes in there are gorgeous. One day I will buy the heart shaped casserole dish. I think I did show you that in the video. Um, but this is again for Charlie. So, I mean, I'm not gonna give him this as his present because it's quite boring and practical, but this is the ecological cleaner um, for the enamel cast iron cookware, which we have quite a lot of. Even this was reduced, so 23 pounds down to 15 pounds, but, his actual gift, because he loves stir fries and our tea fowl version of this just needs to be thrown away because it's very old. Um, so this is the brazer for brazing things and stir frying with a glass lid. Oh, I'm not gonna get it out of the box because it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Um, Hopefully I took a little clip of it in the store. If I did, I'll pop it on the screen here. So I don't think there's a picture. Um, otherwise I'll just pop a picture of it on the screen here, but that is another of his presents. And I think this was like 200 and something pounds down to 90 or 70. It was a really good discount for something so um, practical. So that's all of Charlie's gifts. I'm now gonna hide these in the little wardrobe in this room. the exciting one. So last time I went to Bista, I also bought something from Lueve. I bought the beach um, mat. So if you're going on a pebble beach, then you have this really bougie little straw mat to lie on and they're so comfortable. Haven't used it yet. Well, actually I've used it one time in our garden, um, but I will be taking it to Kefaloni with me if we're able to go in September. We all know that I love <laughs> Lueve basket bag, but price is painful. Um, I mean, even the price that I paid for this is very OTT for a basket bag, but I just absolutely loved it. So obviously you get the full lovely experience with the gift, um, with the dust bag and everything. This is the largest size, and I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. So you've got the Loewe, um leather square in the middle, you've got the kind of embroidered flower detail, you've got the straps which are adjustable and it's absolutely ginormous so if like me you just love to carry everything with you and for a day at the beach you're going to need your towel probably a change of clothes a sun cream a book a magazine camera food etc etc so i thought i don't I'm, I'm trying to justify this ridiculous purchase um but i don't have a basket bag this size like my basket bags are much smaller so this is going to be like my actual 
beach bag and this is something of course that I will have forever so yeah just a little treat and it's so funny because my trip to Bista wasn't even meant to be a shopping trip I was meant to be going to meet Hayley to get the lamps um and then have a little mooch around and have lunch there but of course I ended up going in all the shops so this was it doesn't have the um exact price info but I think it was £795 and I think I paid £265 for it so yeah of course not super cheap um but I am very very happy with that price and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah this will definitely be like my travel bag my airplane bags it fits so much stuff in it and I'm very very happy with my purchase and with everything that I got from Bista. I'm gonna put these handles together and you can do it both ways so you can put the handles so they're like this or like this if that makes sense and I'm gonna do it the second way <laughs> that was a workout okay so we have done it there we go that is how I will be styling it let me show you from a bit further away excuse the mess that's what happens when I have been doing a photo shoot but compared to me it is very large, um, but you'll be able to see that I can literally fit all my stuff in here for a day at the beach or if I'm going to a farmer's market or something, I can absolutely fill this up. And I like that it's got this little detail on it, it's just something a little bit different. So there we go. My little outlet shopping haul. So here's a question, what do you guys do with your dust bags? I feel like one shouldn't throw away a Loewe dust bag, but what do you do with these things? I currently just have them all folded up in a pile upstairs, but I don't really know what to do with them. So if you've got any ingenious ideas, please let me know. The smaller ones are great for taking to farmer's markets, actually for putting your fruit and veg in. Charlie and I always used to laugh when we went to the farmer's market in Clapham because I'd be putting up my beetroot in a Chloe dust bag from my shoes. <laughs> But this one's a little bit too big to do anything like that. Okay, I need to have a little bit of a tidy up and I'll catch up with you later. Okay, it's a little bit later now. We are just about to go outside and take the dogs for their mooch around the garden. Um, but I think you saw a garden update recently. So I'm not going to take you along with me. I'm going to end the vlog here actually um, because then it's just all Bista focused and I can do a bit of a house update in another video. But darlings, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of fashion content. I'm thinking I might do a what's new in my wardrobe because um, I have been a few really nice new bits and bobs and yeah, let me know what kind of fashion content you would like to see and um, your wish is my command. I will get working on it. I'm gonna try to do maybe a fashion video every Sunday. That's the plan. Obviously this probably isn't gonna go live on a Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and do fashion focus videos every Sunday from now on. So yes, had a couple of questions on this last time. Um, I wore it in a video as well. It's from a brand called Okay, I can't pronounce it. Eagle, A I G L E, Eagle, Eagle. Not sure, um, but it's really nice for just being super. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Is that the brand? Hopefully, you can see. I think it might be French. Um, but anyway, I'm digressing. Thank you for watching today's video, darlings. As always, please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.